Just look at this. It's the Husqvarna 701 Vit Pillin. You either love the way the Husqvarna 701 looks or you're fucking wrong. It's got some amazing lines, some beautiful curves, a great stance and a radiator fan. It's a disgusting feature that dominates the left, like woolly-headed idealism and a lack of fiscal responsibility, while the right side looks like it was done by a cheap Italian plumber. But I still love the look of it. I love the exhaust, I love the nice little touches throughout the bike, the sweet branding and the feel of quality that it has, except for the plastic dash. That looks shit and features the most condescending warning message I've ever seen on a motorcycle. It's one step away from saying this. And the rest of the view for the cockpit isn't that great with poor plastic moulding around the headlight is. And that view is crucial with most bikes, but maybe not with this one, because it's kicked along by a 692cc single cylinder engine, which is an evolution of KTM's LC4. Now that's unique, as it's the only engine that's been in production for over 30 years and still manages to be unreliable. But while it's alive, it works damn hard before an early death. It's like a CRF 450 or a South African farmer. The thing revs bloody high and quickly. People have said it's the greatest single cylinder engine of all time. And yeah, if the tightest jazz band you've ever heard is played on a MIDI, it is technically perfect, but it lacks the personality that I like. One thing I do love though, is the weight and balance it offers the rest of the package. If you can find a better handling, lighter and more responsive motorcycle to push through a set of corners, then you should marry it. Seriously, a set of tight twisties and a competent rider on board, would be damn hard to catch. It's responsive, it's light, it handles like a dream. The WP suspension is great, it is tactile, the weight distribution is perfect. It is one- the absolute digger. Why would you park there? But there's no two ways about it. It is uncomfortable, the seat is hard and thin, you adopt a proper racing crouch, and the legs are really cramped. Now maybe it's just me and my particular measurements. But it's something you ride for an hour, then get off. Oh. And ride for an hour and get off. Ooh and ride for an hour and get off. So you won't be touring on it and you won't be racking up heaps of miles. And that's cool for a lot of people, it's just definitely not for me. But it weighs two fifths of fuck all and has a punchy engine and that's an impossible combination to beat. Mm. And here is the kicker, it costs 12,000 US dollars. Bugging me sideways, that's a lot of money for not a lot of motorcycle. It's fun, but so is pushing old people at train stations and that's cheaper. 